Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a part three to my Christmas Decorate With Me series for 2020, where I decorate the kids' room and just add a couple of touches throughout the house before I get ready to do my bedroom and do the front porch for you guys next week. I also added some more glam to the Christmas tree. I felt like it needed a little bit more sparkle. So for all of the inspiration and motivation to get your Christmas decorations up this year, just stay tuned. All right guys, like I said, doing a part three to this year's Christmas Decorate With Me series. I'm loving how everything is coming together. I always do a little bit different of a theme in the kids' room just to kind of match what they have in the room. And I moved their fish tank, which is usually right here on their dresser and had to clean that out. So I have a fresh clean slate to work with here and I kind of played with around with some of the new decorations that I got. I got this fur like Christmas tree skirt and then I also got some fur um, letters for the kids this year to go in their room. Now typically I have like a standard tree to go in there but I did not do that this year. I decided to just keep with the mint green tree and the blush bottle brush tree and added some white snow flakes and a white pom-pom. Now everything that I got is from Target. Um, the green bottle brush tree is the only one that is not from Target. Bottle brush tree, this mint green one here, is the only one I did not get from Target. This one I believe I got from Home Goods. And then I'm just putting some twinkle lights on it that I purchased last year from Target and I believe these were like $5. I had to swap out the batteries and then it was good to go. And I found these cute little like pink decorations to go on the tree at Target as well. And I thought it was such a perfect theme for the kids' room. I know it's a little bit girly, but Riker doesn't care either way right now. Eventually he will have his own room and I will decorate his room to kind of match his theme at that time. Right now they have a rustic feel going on in their room with a couple of pops of color and I thought the blush and mint went so well with it but I love how that came together so cute and sparkly and Kaya loves it so much I surprised her with it when she came home from preschool today and she loves it so much and the little gnome is adorable all right you guys I'm going to let you enjoy the decorating here for a while and I will pop back in in a little bit All right, for the stockings this year, you guys know that we are kind of in the middle of a renovation. We typically have shelves up on these walls, but we put shiplap up and we just haven't had time to put up the new floating shelves. So I just purchased some of these command strip hooks from Target and I got them in gold so that they kind of matched with the theme. It was a perfect compromise this year for the stockings since I could not use my stocking holders up on the shelf. And then I added some glam to the Christmas tree. I felt like it just needed a little bit more um, in the ornament department, if you will. Um, and I added just a few more of the sparkly and gold and emerald green ornaments and really filled out the tree nice. Now, I typically don't decorate the bottom portion of the tree, but I did for this video just so I could show you guys what I would do if I decorated the entire tree. Usually the bottom portion, I just kind of leave plain because otherwise Riker is grabbing ornaments. He's already grabbing ornaments off the bottom half of the tree and has been doing so tonight. So 
that is why I don't decorate it. And then when you're shoving presents underneath, some of those breakable ornaments can pop off easily. But like I said, for the purpose of this video, I did add a few more ornaments just to show you guys what it looked like all filled out. I'm loving this year's tree and you'll see me kind of go back and forth with decorating. I did have like one really long piece of emerald green ribbon. It just wasn't long enough. I really loved the pop of color that it gave, but it just wasn't what I was looking for in this year's theme, but maybe next year I will use it or even downstairs in the basement. I am hoping that we have everything put together before Christmas as far as our basement renovation and I might do a live tree down in the basement and do something fun down there, but we will see. All right, I'm going to again let you guys enjoy the decorating. If you have any questions, like my other two videos, if you have any questions as to where anything is from, please leave it in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Also leave in the comments below Below what your favorite part of this year's decorating has been so far. I would say it's definitely been the Christmas tree for me and the shelves in the dining room. I think everything came together so cute and it's just this like Nordic glam. Definitely more glam now that I added a bunch of sparkle to the tree. Um, but everything else is really giving me um, boho feel with like the baskets in the background and the dried florals and the colors. I love, love, love the color scheme that we have going on this year. We stay up waiting for seven tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me
All right, so I'm showing you guys my most favorite candles from Target. These are the Threshold brand. I love the spiced gingerbread cookie. They have a couple of other ones out. It's like a Christmas like spice or something that's out right now. And this gingerbread cookie. And there's one more, it's like a Fraser fur. Um, my Target is always really slow to getting these candles in, but they're such a good deal. And I feel like they really rival the Bath and Body Works candles and they're a fraction of the cost. Uh, $10 for a really big three wick candle is a really good deal all right so i have a bunch of these mini christmas trees all over the house and decided i was going to try and arrange them in the entryway i had plants in these baskets but the new kitty just completely destroyed the plants he thought it was his own little jungle and destroyed them so i'm using the baskets to put some trees together one of the trees did not work so I decided to put that one upstairs and put twinkle lights on it and just keep this one down in the entry. I'll likely add some like a little like wood tree and something else to kind of fill out that area. And I wanted to put something around this round mirror. I love like framing the mirror with floral every single season. Like last season for fall, I did um, just some like autumn leaves and I thought it was so pretty. So I did some green garland around it for Christmas time. And to get the garland to stick, I will use thumbtack around the mirror just a little hack for you guys and then I just kind of tie the garland together at the ends that is what I came up with for this year around the mirror Last thing that I am doing in this video is I brought that tree with the lights that didn't work and I put twinkle lights on it. Just one of those battery operated ones and my cat really, really likes this tree and he knocked it over several times in the video. So I hope you guys enjoy that. This is real life with a new kitten in the house. He loves to destroy everything that I put up, but he's so cute and I just love to give him kisses and I try to just deter him away from the tree as much as I possibly can. But that is going to wrap it up for this part three to my 2020 series, Christmas Decorate With Me. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series so far and that I've inspired you guys for your own homes and putting up decorations in your own home. Again, leave it in the comments below with what your favorite part of the house has been so far this year. In the next video, I will be sharing my front porch decorate with me and my master bedroom decorate with me. I'm trying to find a good set of sheets and I'm also holding out for some fresh garland. I've really been striking out on the garland lately, haven't been able to find exactly what I'm looking for. So hopefully soon I will find what I'm looking for and then I will share it in a decorate with me video for you guys. All right. I will see you guys in a couple days for a get it all done video. Okay, bye guys.